Have you ever tapped one end of a table and noticed how someone at the other end feels it? That's all thanks to vibrations. But how do these vibrations actually move through different materials? Imagine vibrations like a game of tag. When you tap the table, you're tagging the first group of atoms. They get excited and bump into their neighbors, who then bump into their neighbors, and so on. In solids, like wood or metal, atoms are packed tightly together, so the tag game is super fast. Vibrations travel quickly and efficiently through the solid. In liquids, atoms are close but not as tightly packed, so the tag game slows down a bit because atoms have more space to move around. In gases, atoms are really spread out, so the vibrations travel much slower and can even fade away before reaching far. The type of material and how tightly its atoms are packed decide how fast and far the vibrations can go. That's why you can hear a knock through a wall, but not as easily through air. Also, some materials absorb vibrations more, making the tag game harder to keep going. So, the next time you feel a distant thump, remember, it's just atoms playing a speedy game of tag, passing along the energy from one to another.